Today in Engineering Newswire, we're flying high with DARPA's communication parafoil, creating 3D structures with soft materials, and flying the world's most efficient ion engine. DARPA's Toad Airborne Lift of Naval Systems, or TALONS, is designed to carry intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, or other communication payloads of up to 150 pounds between 500 and 1,500 feet in altitude behind ships, which is much higher than current ships' masts. A low-cost, fully automated parafoil system, TALONS could help extend maritime vessels' long-distance communications and improve their domain awareness. DARPA has successfully tested a hand-deployed Talons prototype for smaller boats and a mass-deployed system for larger ships. However, before taking to the sea, the team tested on land. Testing on the water began earlier this year, and all of the flights have allowed the team to assess the system under various wind conditions while developing Talons for different platforms. The team has fine-tuned the hand deployment techniques, programming automatic launch and recovery and autopilot systems, while also demonstrating the mass deploy technique, extending the talons reach to 1,000 feet in altitude. The project is part of a joint program between DARPA and the U.S. Navy's Office of Naval Research. After successful testing, the talons technology may be transferred to the U.S. Navy. According to a University of Sydney researcher, the world's most efficient ion engine has been built, beating out even NASA's high-power electric propulsion engine, which currently holds the record for ion drive performance. Dr. Patrick Newman claims the invention holds the promise of Mars and back on a tank of fuel. Ion engines generate thrust by ionizing a propellant gas and then accelerating that gas through the engine using an electrostatic or electromagnetic field. Newman's design uses a solid propellant and an electrical arc to vaporize the propellant into a cloud of ions, electrons, and neutral vapor. The combination pushes the gas mixture out of a contiguous pattern of short and light bursts. The prototype can be powered by a few different commonly found metallic substrates, with magnesium being the best. Although the professor's engine lags behind NASA's thruster in terms of thrust with 20 micronewtons per watt compared to NASA's 30 to 40 micronewtons per watt, its solid propellant gives it a big boost when it comes to specific impulse. NASA's ion engine works at about 9,600 plus or minus 200 seconds of specific impulse, while Newman's drive does 14,690 plus or minus 2,000 seconds depending upon which material is used as propellant, meaning the Australian professor's drive uses fuel more efficiently and can fly longer. Gels made from soft, microscale particles can transition smoothly between a fluid and solid state. This makes them a suitable medium in which to form macroscopic structures with microscopic precision. The American Association for the Advancement of Science recently published a paper describing this technique called Writing in the Granular Gel Medium. Creative. Using this technique, the team at the University of Florida in Gainesville was able to create 3D structures using silicones, hydrogels, and living cells. Multiple materials can be used because the approach negates the effects of surface tension, gravity, and particle diffusion. To make the structures, an injection tip traces a path. The granular gel fluidizes at the injection point, then quickly solidifies, trapping the injected material in place. Polymeric materials were cross-linked and removed from the granular gel. And uncross-linked particulate systems were supported within the medium for long periods of time. The technique could be used to further develop tissue engineering, flexible electronics, particle engineering, smart materials, and encapsulation technologies. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PDND channel, I'm Kaylee Duffy, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.